Hello everyone, as you might have noticed in the previous video, the word well has a different texture from the rest of the image. This is achieved using what we call masking. Masking is a very prominent concept uh, in Photoshop or any other image editing software. The main node that we use for masking is called the mix shader. So let us first set up the interface so that uh, things are more visible. Okay, so let's cut all these uh, connections using control and then right click to cut everything. Uh, let's start with the basics. So let me add a principal BSDF, shift D to duplicate it. Uh, let's give this one a red color. Let's give this one a blue color. Hold on, I'm going to pull up another image that might help. Yes, this one. So this slider here allows us to adjust, uh, as you might see, the factor of the mix shader. This slider here is exactly this. It allows us to move the, val uh, the value in the gray scale. So if it's zero, it's black. If it's one, it's white. If we connect red here and then blue and then the second socket, so this is set to 1, which means we will only show the color blue. If it's set to 0, we will show the color red. But if it's set to 0 0.5, it will be a mix of 2, which is purple. The factor socket is powerful because not only can it accept values, it can also accept uh, image inputs, which we will be using. This is an example of a basic mask. As you can see, we have our image. And then when we apply the mask, only the the pixels where there is a, uh, a white color in our mask will be shown in the final image. And if we take this a little further, if we have two images instead of one, this first, this image one is layered on top of our image two, which, which means that the white pixels are, are going to show image one, whereas the black pixels are going to hide image one, which means they will show image two. So we get this final image. Let's apply this to our setup. We will not use, we will only use the value of the factor uh, at first. So let's see, when the value is zero, it reflects this material. It's just a, si a simple BSDF with a greenish color, metallic set to one, and the low roughness. When it's set to one, it's our normal uh, image with the, our logo or whatever, okay? So if we put in here a mix of 0 0.5 You see that Yeah, sorry, you can see that it mixes the two different textures, but it's not exactly what we want because the when when, when it's a value It doesn't you cannot control the position of the white and black pixels You can only control their their value on the grayscale so 0 0.5 is mean it means gray so it means it will take 50% from the first texture and 50% from the second texture this is not what we want as we said what we want to control is the position of the pixels in our mask this is where our image mask comes into play as you can see the pixels that uh, constitute the word well are in black whereas the rest is white if we plug the color of this mask into the factor as you can see, this is what we get. My input image, um, it's actually inverted a bit. So this color ramp here is just going the extra mile. It allows us to uh, tighten up the transition between black and white. So we, we can even mute it if we want. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's inverted. So our white pixels uh, are in the word will. So let's let what we can do is just uh, inverse these two or add an invert node. It's 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 exactly the same. We can do that by clicking on the mix shader node and pressing Alt S if you don't want to do it manually. 
So if we go back to our image to compare it to that. So this is our mask, right? We just talked about it. The first layer is the first socket, which is my normal image. And then the second layer is the second image. So as you can see, the white parts will be showing my uh, shiny green texture and the dark parts will be showing my normal texture, which means on the rest of the image. Short video, I hope it's clear. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Have a great day.